I'm your friendly neighborhood and man 64 and I'm bringing you some more Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. In the last episodes, we made our way through completing the stories of Sora in the Grid and Riku in Prankster's Paradise. Now before we continue the story, unfortunately, as you guys were well aware, Queen Minnie was apparently kidnapped by Maleficent, so we're just going to ignore that and pretend it didn't happen. As you can see here, I have jacked up Sora considerably. He is now level 29, so up seven levels since the last time you saw him, which has mostly been done through grinding here at the Pinocchio World, which is the most powerful or the best place to grind. I leveled Riku up. Riku went on a level up tear. He's level 33. And I've changed some of the uh, Dream Eaters that we've made, so for the sake of argument, I'm going to do a brief introduction to all of our new Dream Eaters. We have the following Dream Eaters. Now these guys you've all known. They've been with us for a long time. But I'd like to introduce you to Lord Slug, who was with Riku for the longest time, but we ultimately... I ultimately got rid of him in favor of a different one. We have Stafford, named after Matthew Stafford of the LA Rams because it's a goat. Tootsie Pop, which is our owl. And he will be joining Sora fairly soon. I won't say immediately, but fairly soon. Once I get what I want from the rest of Sora's things. We've got Bug Gur, because apparently this game won't let me put Bugger in. Because of the stinking Brits. We have Sir Ribs a lot. I forgot the Sir, so Ribs a lot will have to do. We have Knee. That's all I can really think of. He looks like a Knee anyway. We have Gambit, who is with Riku right now. And we have Mario 3. Mario the Third, who, because it's a Tanuki suit. Obviously, I had to think. Everybody thinks of Mario 3 when they think of a Tanuki suit, so. And then I'd like to introduce you to the other three, other two spirits that I have. We have Wizbun, who is a wizard rabbit and is going to be part of Sora's repertoire for a while. And we have Ledger, who's named after Heath Ledger, who obviously played the Joker in The Dark Knight because it's a jack-in-the-box ghost thing. I don't know. But as you guys can see, we've got a pretty decent team here. I really don't plan on changing my spirits for Sora for a little bit until we get new, uh, what to call it? Until we get new spirits that I can use. And actually, we might be able to get a new spirit right now. And we do. Now, obviously, like I said, Bruce is not done. And we can change his disposition to get more levels. Problem is, it's really tricky to get some to change their disposition. So, you may want to hold off on it. That, at least for now but we can level up Wizbun and Ledger is doing pretty good himself this will get us treasure magnet take that and a new secret route to get what do we get with a few more link points collision magnet that's not bad so we'll leave that there but we are going to switch Bruce out yes I know Bruce has been Bruce has been a tough fighter for a few minutes, but we're going to keep switching people out because I'd like to see what other people have for us. Uh, I don't want to have two fully magic wielders, but Tootsie Pop does have a few really nice abilities. Uh, we'll go with the Tanuki. We'll go with another Chonky Cat. And he'll stay with our party. I like I like having Wizbun, so we'll keep that in mind. And for this part, though I did say I may want to... Okay, so that's done. Though I said in this episode I may want to go to, end up going to Traverse Town, I don't think we're going to end up getting to Traverse Town. Because we're going to be fighting some of the Dream Eaters we can find, and we're also going to be looking for the remaining treasures. Now, I have a list of the treasures and their locations in the areas of the first three Disney worlds that we can go to. 
So we're starting here at Prankster's Paradise because I was already here leveling hey, up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of yeah, the treasures. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm not 100% yeah, sure yeah, what it is, but I know where it is. Hey, yeah, take this. The weird thing about this is when you look up the guide for treasures, it doesn't tell you, like. Heal. The, the, the treasure numbers are numbered very randomly, if you know what I mean. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading yeah. towards the Ferris wheel because there is a treasure chest that's in hey. here. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot yeah. even yeah. one of my yeah. favorite treasure chest items. Hey. But I don't mind, it has to happen at some point. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, Sora yeah. is yeah. not having yeah. any problems with Sora, and Riku definitely is. So, let's see how far we can, how far, how long it takes us to get to the one we need to get to. Ah, convenient. Okay, malleable fantasy. Cool. Now, which treasure chest was that? For Sora and Prankster's Paradise. That was this one, okay. So, we're looking at... Treasure number 10 in Prankster's Paradise. Uh, I guess this one's also on the Ferris wheel, which is convenient because that means we don't have to worry about looking for them anymore. I didn't think all of them would be on the Ferris wheel, but that's just that's just perfectly convenient. And yep, here it is. Son of a gun. And now we have all the treasures in the Pinocchio world. And since we're done, we really don't have to do much more exploring here. Fortunately with Sora, we've gotten a lot of the treasures. That's why it pays to do some exploring yeah. while you're playing the game. So you don't have to do too much on your own. So we're going to head to the world map. And we're going to jump next to the Hunchback world. Because that's kind of where I expect the next view to be. So we'll start in the bell tower. And make sure we're not missing any from here. Now just let me load my thing. So a few, I'm doing this a little out of order. I should have started here at the bell tower, but uh, let's see. Now, according to the report, we are missing as Sora treasure chest numbers two, seven, eleven. Two, seven, and eleven is what we should focus on right now. Uh, number two is in the cathedral courtyard. And I guess we'll start there, so we'll head out. And I'll show you that, I don't know, the only reason Frollo died was because he fell in the fire, because evidently, Sora can't hey, keep himself yeah, right hey, off of the uh, uh, cathedral and hey, have nothing yeah, bad happen hey, to him. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the yeah, same as with yeah. Pride Rock in Kingdom Hearts 2, where there was no, there was no tension because, yeah. well... If Sora can leap off of Pride Rock and live, guess what? I got some bad news. That also means Simba could live. Uh, stage, center, right. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we got ourselves a balloon. So, number 7 and number 11. Oh, darn it. We could have just... Ah, uh, sucks. Oh. I could have gotten number 11 because it's in the bell tower. Oh well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Actually, I prefer that. that hey. Uh, hey. Not upset. Hey. I do get to fight this hey. guy again. Oh. Let's see if these guys give up in terms of items. I really want to make them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Because if I don't make the rhino hey. soon, it's gonna be yeah. coming. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. by God, yeah, yeah, yes, really yeah, freaking yeah, good dream yeah, eaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so number seven is in the cathedral, and it's northwest behind the board. 
fast. Once these cats stop showing up, I get everything else. Not bad. For a level, whatever this was, this is the lowest level to roll in the game, so. Take this! Okay, thank you. Hey, hey, ha! Hey, yeah, yeah, ha! There! Yeah, 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 yeah. Should be behind right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, this yeah. is actually the yeah. quest. Yeah, yeah. This game could just hey. be yanking yeah. my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, ha, yeah. And I start. Yeah. I figured yeah. I'd start with Sora because ha. he's the one we're gonna be leveling up for a while, and then we'll wrap it up with Riku. Ha. Continue from Traverse Town, and yep, yeah, sure enough, we missed a trouble. Uh, stick to the, the, uh, a treasure chest. Okay, number 11 is in the bell tower. Yeah. Which is pretty good. That means we got a lot of the ones on the way to the Court of Miracles. Yeah. Ha. Oh, those are the stairs where Frollo threw that poor old guy down. Oh, nice. Frollo's just not a nice guy, is he? I mean, that goes without saying. Back he is freaking Frollo. Still, hey. poor yeah. old hey. guy down. Yeah, yeah, hey, Only in the movie, ah. though, because apparently, according to Quasimodo, the oh. Archdeacon is away. And that's the reason why Frollo's getting away with all this crap. Okay. Upper area, southeast. Yeah, yeah. treasure chests are we missing now? We are missing numbers. Uh, 24. And, Jesus. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 43. We're missing numbers 24 and 43. 24 is on the bridge. Okay, so Forty-three should be in the catacombs. Ooh, we missed a hidden room. Okay, that's not bad. So we do have to go into the catacombs just once. I'm not mad. Malleable fantasy. Cool. That's actually one of the ones we need. We needed to make the elephant if we were doing it the right way. Um, we should link with. We should link with our boy. Just to see, oh, it's just the same, it's just one for stomp. Okay, Together. and we'll do it anyway. I've been testing out a lot of these anyway off screen. Mostly because I just want to make this game go by as smoothly as possible. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we gotta head to the bridge yeah. next. Yeah. Nightmarish bridge. Yeah. Where that stupid gargoyle thing was trying to nuke us when we were Riku. That means we got everything in the city, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. I usually always yeah. miss yeah. one treasure yeah. chest. Yeah. 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 I would guess that that's what we would yeah. Riku did. Hey. I, didn't, I don't yeah. remember if I took as yeah. much time yeah. looking for treasure with Riku or not. Either way, we will be continuing this. Huh. Huh. Because Lord knows, I want to beat this game as much as I can. This isn't going to be one of those games where it's like, hey, yeah, oh, hey, beat it yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Hey, I want to beat the secret boss. He is tricky to beat yeah. legitimately, but you can break oh. it with the balloons. And we are going to be doing Flick Rush in the next one. In the next uh, recording session, so... Actually, we might, considering yeah, the yeah, speed yeah, at which we're yeah. going, yeah. we might actually be able to do yeah. so where yeah. 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 Yeah.
Inside a hidden room. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to bash a bitch. Until we find it. Uh, I'll, I'll spare. I'll spare a few minutes to smarter you guys. Mostly because I enjoy the battle theme for this world as much as I do. But not enough to waste all of the time. Actually, wonder. I know it's. I know we can't really explore, but I wonder what would be blocking us from getting to the thing now, uh, to that little house where Phoebus, where Frollo wanted to burn people, and Phoebus is just like, no, that's wrong. But I'm like, I don't care. All right. Ooh, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cats and bats, they should not be friends. That's, that's, that's just me. They should not ever be friends. Back off! Hey, hey, yeah! And unfortunately, getting to getting back to something simple that we might have mentioned in the last part. This is the game where things stop making sense. Like, you can argue that, the, that Kingdom Hearts 2 is the one where that started, but at the very least, Kingdom Hearts 2 isn't, like, dumb in that, like, it won't tell you, it'll tell you things that are crazy, but it'll give you a full explanation. This is where the game just decides, yeah, no. We're certifiably insane, and we don't care. Not this one. I wish it would tell me what the treasure is.
mostly because I have no idea where the hell we're going to get started. Uh, I just parrot it. Mark, stop messaging me. I love you, bud, but, like, I'm in the middle of something. And if Mark is watching this video, to clarify, you are messaging me in the middle of my recording session on January 23rd. Alright, so the grid with Sora. Here we are. Alright, Mark, what do you want? So he sends me a thing about destroying a copy of Pokemon Yellow. And then he sends me a thing about Artie Marino still owning the Angels. Uh, dude, thank you, but I got shit to do. Uh, that's gonna be the Toxamander recipe. Cool. Alright, so we're back in Tron land. Unfortunately, we don't get to see Olivia Wilde anymore. And uh, good god, am I thirsty for her. Okay, so treasure number one is the city. Treasures numbers six, seven, and eight in the underground dock. Uh, where are we? We're on the deck. Is there anything on the deck we can get? Not really. So maybe we should go back to the city to start this. No, not drop. 